I mean, it, it is an art in itself. And uh, I'll bring it down here. That's kind of like almost full. There's a little bit open. Not too much. Let's try that out for right now and see where we go. Hopefully it'll sustain itself where it is. And there you have it, my friends. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. A little bit after 2 right now. And we're at 2.50 on the grill. So I'm going to uh, try to set this up over here on my tripod again here. We'll try to get this uh, to the point where... Uh, I think we can do this without any issues. Apparently I can't get that to really hold up. So we're going to take a look at the meat now. And there you have it, my friends. I mean, that's what it looks like. Trying to get it down here, Pat. And we're going to look at uh, the probe here. And a little, wow, well, alright, we're 168 there, 177, 180. It's getting a little warm there, 182. This one, 187. This one, 186, 178, 173, 179, 180, that one back there, 185, this one, 186. It's it's really really juicy. I mean, I'm not. I'm just running my finger through it here. Um, some areas of it looks tight and tough. Other areas look like it's really really moist. So I'm just a little concerned. You know, like this piece of meat here feels real tough. It might be burned. Yeah, that's kind of light there. 170. This one here. Seems like some of them are really nice and juicy. I'm, I'm very new to doing this, so it's like, uh, you know, what am I going to do? You know, 176 here. I guess what I can do is just run this a little more, another hour. I see that the drip pan is accumulating some juice. Some of these meats are I may be fine with. Yeah. I mean, it, it it really I mean to look at this it, it's really like it's ready, you know. I mean And I'm just almost, I, I, what I may do is I may just pull one out just to see how it is. And uh, I will let everybody know what it, I come up with on this. But the smoker is still, the Kamado is still burning. And I want to close this lid so we can finish the cook here. So we may go in one more hour. 
but I want to end up pulling maybe this piece over here and see what we get. All right. Bye. Okay, guys, I really got to show you this. I mean, look at the ring. I mean, the ring is in here. I mean, I'm like, oh my gosh, this, this looks so incredibly good. Um, there's a lot of fat on this piece, and that's what I'm noticing with some of the uh, meat, um, uh, the bones. Uh, there's a lot of fat, and that's why it's like really, really juicy. This part here is the, the meat part, and I got a red ring. This is my first favorite excitement. I mean, oh, I haven't even tried eating this, but it, it certainly looks beautiful. I have a funny feeling my cooking for the brisket is going to be just as beautiful as this uh, in a couple days. I'm going to hold, put on hold my phone here to cut open more meat here so that everybody could see. This is at about 2.05 this morning, Saturday morning. Okay. So, um, as I'm going to show here, I mean, this is, this is really what you're looking at. Um, there's a ring around the meat. It's, it's noticeably noticeable. Maybe more so on, uh, maybe you can see that. I do not know if you can, but, uh, even over here, uh, I'm beginning to think I might want to just pull the meat out, you know, because um, it is what it is. And I like it. I like what I see. A lot of juice. Thoroughly cooked. And like I was going to show you, that this is all nothing but fat. And maybe what I might do, I didn't know that I had this much amount of fat on that brisket. I mean brisket. The, uh piece of the short rib. Okay, so we're back at 250 on this thing. I really, I think I'm ready to take these off. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, whatever seems to be really, really jiggly, that may be just the factor that um, the meat uh, is... Uh, I mean, I guess what I can do right now is wrap it. I mean, I, you know, because I really don't want to end up, you know, cooking any more than this. This is pretty much, it's, it's going to get charred is what I'm concerned about. So I'm going to take these pieces and put them on a pan here. I'm going to take a look down in the charcoals. It looks like it's almost, I, I think I used enough charcoal for this thing here to make it what it is. What I did initially worked. Ugh. It's still cooking. Uh, it's more than half done. I mean, I could keep the the things, you know, kind of burning, uh, but I, I may I'm gonna do something with the juice, and uh, and the meat, and I might put it right back in this grill. So I'm gonna close this up right now. All right, folks, I really don't know what I should be doing with this. I'm gonna what I'm gonna first do is kind of cut some of this to see what what we have, and that really looks like it's fully cooked. And juicy here the same we got ring again uh, kind of like a red ring I can't really be sure whether you guys can see that or not but there you go that's what you have I mean this looks like I, I can I can enjoy this I mean, I think I'm going to just cut a piece just for myself over here. Look at that. It's very, very tender. I was able to cut that pretty well. It's not like it's going to fall off the bone, per se, because it's really a thin slab, and I kept the membrane on, on the meat. 
Um, and this over here is like, although it's orange, hmm, 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 hmm. Man, that's good. This is like orange juice and some oranges and, you know, it smells like bacon. <laughs> I mean, I, all this smells like smoked bacon. Oh gosh, this is just incredible. That is just incredible. See? I mean, I just love it, you know? Mmm. Mmm, it just melts in your mouth. Mmm. Well. I'm happy with it. I really am. I'm going to set this all up for tomorrow. And because it's pretty much thoroughly cooked. And if you really look at that... I don't know if you can see that. Not a lot of light over in this area here. But, you know, it's obvious that it's thoroughly cooked. And there's just a lot of, lot of tasty juice. Let me see if I can bring this over here a little more. So people can see it. So, this is my first uh, smoked uh, short ribs. And you might be saying, man, that's a huge looking short rib. You're absolutely right. You know, I kept most of the meat on the bone. So, um, so I want to just, I don't know if I can get this grill grate, uh, this information here. But it looks like it's going to burn the rest of this out. Um, I'm going to put the dampers on full and try to burn it out that way here. But I'm starting to see with the Jealous Devil, I don't need a lot of lump clumps. Um, this was a five and a half hour job, and, or a project. It was not something that uh, um, needed to uh, take a great deal of time. I didn't use probes, so uh, the grill eyes didn't do anything for me tonight. So it doesn't mean anything then, yeah, having uh, probes. Just to let people know, a lot of it has to just deal with, do you know how to cook, or do you know how to work your grill is basically it. You know, because if you don't, then you'll need assistance. Then you'll need the probes. But in case of tonight, I did not open up the grill at all, and I only had, like, you know, two attempts at two o'clock and three o'clock to check the meat. Meat went up about, I'd say about uh, 10 degrees in one hour. I probably could have done another 10, you know, an hour. Could have been done in six and a half hours. But I pulled it out because I wanted to, I liked the juiciness. I saw the red ring around the meat. It kind of showed me that, man, this was looking very good. So... I'm just using this now to burn out what needs to be done. Maybe I just need to just turn off, the, close the dampers, and that'll turn off everything. So, because I don't want to burn this Kamado. So, I'm going to sign off, everybody. Have an enjoyable weekend.